How are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? Root of the Null here, coming back at you with some more Python tutorials, and we're looking at GTK. Alright, now in the last video, we added a button, finally. We added a GTK widget, a nice little entity f to our window, and if I run this here, you can see we can just click anywhere in our window, because after all, our window is a container, and that's a good keyword to memorize, or at least know in the back of your head. So, uh, now we're actually going to want to put this button somewhere else, because if our window is just an entirely a huge button, that's not really a good program. So, uh, let's work with this. I want to save this as a new file. I think I'll just call mine window fixed object. And, uh, you guys can do the same if you'd like. And, as I'm sure you guys have figured out, I want to introduce to you guys the GTK fixed object, or the, a widget that allows you to set any other widget at a specific position on your window. Alright, so, I'm going to go ahead and put this right over here. So I'm going to say self.fixedObject. Just like I set up a button object, this is going to be a new one for the fixed GTK widget and entity. And you guys know how to set this up, right? GTK.fixed with a capital F. All right. So a fixed object can add as many things to a specific position as uh, you would like. We can actually add multiple things to it. But let's just go ahead and try something with at least one of them right now. Let's add the button object anywhere. Self.fixed object. The, um, the function to add something is put. P-U-T. Now we pass in the, the entity or the widget that we want to actually add to the window. So in this case, it's the button object. And the next two coordinates are where in the window you want it to actually be. And because this is at a fixed location, at a specific pixel point on your window, we need to give it a number, or at least like coordinates. So I'm going to say 20 and like 30. Keep it easy. Now you guys know, the window is the container that's displaying everything. So we want to go ahead and add not the button object, but now our fixed object. Now if I run this, you're going to be able to see, right over here, we have this tiny, tiny little thing. And that's actually our button. I can click on this, and you can see it just slightly change color, as if we clicked on the button. But this doesn't look exactly how we want it to, because, I mean, we want it to be a big, regular size button. So I'm going to close out of my window. And I want to introduce you guys, or at least show you, that you can actually pass in a string to your button creation sort of uh, object... Uh, call right there what you want the button to say. Now if I run this, the button is a lot elongated. I mean, there, there's more to it. It has a good substance now. And whatever the length is by default, that's going to be the size of the button. So I can change this to like, um... I can throw in a little bit of a shameless pug plug here if I want. Throw in subscribe and see now it's a different length. And actually, let's set up another one, another object here, self.buttonObject2, and I'm going to say, please. <laughs> and then we'll go ahead and put that, see the keyword I'm using there? We'll go ahead and put that inside of our fixed object. And let's say that's going to be like at the 50 pixels down. If I run this, subscribe, please, and it's right over there. So you can see, we can put this anywhere we'd like in our window. It'll run. It has a, a fixed location because of that object that we've added to our window container. And everything is working smoothly. So very, very soon I'm going to be showing you guys uh, a different layering system, a differing, a different way of setting up the widgets and the objects in your window. I'm going to be getting into the signals, the button object, and other uh, widgets can, can use and manipulate. So we should have a lot of really cool material to be working with in this tutorial series. But uh, I hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, you know, actually, a cool idea or something that you might want to try, uh, actually set up a class for these button objects. And you can set up, like, I don't know, a button X, or in that case it would be, like, button dot X, because I know that you'd set up uh, a button object in the case of the class that you're using. But you can have that hold, like, specific arguments or, or variables that say, like, button dot caption, and you can pass that into act as a button's label. And uh, there's a lot of cool stuff that you can do, but all it takes is your imagination. I hope you guys will stick with me for this tutorial series, though. Hopefully we're going to get into some cool stuff. And uh, in the meantime, 
check out some of my other tutorials, subscribe, like the video, comment, let me know what you're thinking, and I'll, I'll talk to you guys soon.